Peace, everyone. Welcome to another beautiful ass, magical ass moment in time. I wanted to chime in, talk to y'all for a minute about these beautiful, interesting times that we have embarked upon. The times that we have stepped into they're pretty trippy let me turn this down for they try to get me for copyright i want to get this message out and i think it's interesting that i don't know if y'all have noticed this at all maybe it's just me maybe i'm just tripping but I kind of feel this inkling in my gut that maybe I'm not. But has anybody else noticed that there's less and less people around? There's less and less people on the street. Like the people are disappearing. Like it used to be like crowds of people when you used to go outside. Or even crowds at the store or even in their cars even. But mm, mm, something seems kind of fishy. I'm just saying. And then I'm looking around and uh, the mindset of some people, the, the, the comprehensional database of the collective is very questionable. It makes me even wonder, like, is anybody there? Is anybody awake? Is there anybody out there? Is anybody, hello? Oh, is anybody out there? Is anybody awake? Yeah, somebody's out there. This is deep because we have stepped into such a deep twilight zone that people see it, but they don't know what to make of it. So they just don't talk about it. They just let it slide. But a lot of y'all gifts are coming online. So because your gifts have come online, not are, but they're here, it's now. Ain't no waiting for it. Like people still looking into the stars for that man over that woman, or for that job, or for that car, or for that house, or just to see if their message was received from on the other side. But then there's a lot of us who actually get immediate messages, straight up conversations. And it's deep because we also have tapped into our gifts and Tapping into our gifts has placed us in this prestigious position to be under instant attacks. Attacks that come like, it's just like mind blowing stuff. Stuff that normally does not happen to the average person. It is happening to the elect. It is happening to the remnant. It's happening to the elect and it's happening to the remnant at an all time high. Like, what, it, what you normally would have to go through in one year of trauma, the remnant has to go through that in like one day. And, but they still can't buck. They can't fold. They still got to get up. They got to, you know, dust off their elbows, you know, dust off their knee pad. Like, you know, it's like baseball. They have to jump and slide and before the darn referee says strike because ain't nobody striking me out at all. It's deep because when you know the game, either you're going to play it or you're going to get out the game. It's deep because being a soldier in this, I be seeing a whole lot of people crying, whining, complaining. People sitting around tripping because somebody who has left, has gone, is in a whole other world. There's nothing you can do about it. And I respect that. I do have remorse for that. However... God took that person away from you because you made that person your God. And in that person's absence, that person is not even here no more. 
and because they're not here no more you can't even live your life because you're stuck in the past you're stuck in the past and my thing is if you truly love that person like that why are you stuck in the past if you truly know that that person had a connection and a relationship with God and you strongly, even if you just want to see if they went to heaven and you love them like that, I bet you a million dollars, I bet you a dollar that your person does not want you sitting around crying over them, sad, upset, wishing that they were here, not living your life. Missing out on love, missing out on opportunities, missing out on relationships, missing out on friendships, missing out on trips around the world, all because you were sitting in your misery. I doubt that very seriously. I feel like a lot of people are sitting around crying over things that you cannot control. If things happen, they just happen, but that don't let that be your excuse to be like, nah, man, I quit here. You know, this happened and that happened and this happened and I just, and then, and then people feed into it. They'd be like, oh man, oh, okay, well, yeah, you better take that day off, man. Okay, well, yeah, oh my gosh, did you hear about it? Like her, her dog died and then the cat died and then the plane fell out the sky and then, you know, the, the boat sank and then the car got a flat tire. But, you know, let's just sit her down and maybe give her a massage because she deserves it. Quit pacifying that damn behavior. Quit pacifying that behavior because it's weakening people. It's making people feel as if because all these things happen to them. So what? You may have got ran over by a Mack truck. And right now, it's straight up shattered glass, especially for the remnant. And the reason that the remnant have to go through such a day is because they are right here at the end, at the tip at the verge of their breakthrough they are right here at the tip where god is about to do something so amazing in their life and the devil is mad so all he can do is throw debris but look the remnant know it's a portal so all they gotta do is cover their face and jump through it like ha put your knees up like jump put your knees high and your elbows tucked in and your face and jump in it jump in it ain't no reason to complain ain't no reason to cry ain't no reason to tell i should have could have would have ain't no reason to wonder who's around you who's gonna be there for you because trust me baby you when you're putting your trust in your hope in man man's gonna leave you when you're putting your trust in your hope in god god ain't never gonna leave you god gonna hook you up god gonna tell you which way to go who to deal with who not to deal with who to watch who not to watch is deep right now too because the scales of all, all of our eyes have been taken off so it's deep because you even have those who are out there claiming to be the remnant perpetrate in the front but you can see straight through them it's a whole frequency it's deep because god is the truth and there is no lie in that frequency so what is so authentic authentic about these times is there's such a purity in the energies that so many people, if you're paying attention, are not only and have, have disappeared, but my question to you is, where are you in the logistics of things? Are you awake? Are you asleep? Are you one that's sitting around trying to go and plot and go and try to find some type of reward for selling me out for a piece of silver or something? Good luck with that. It's pretty deep because so many people have settled and they have settled for these subtle yet demonic spirits that are identifying themselves through them. People be like, oh, I'm an alcoholic. They be like, oh man, I'm an alcoholic too. They be like, yeah, that's a legion. That is a demon identifying itself. That is not you. That is not your name. And what is so deep about this hour is that a lot of y'all don't, you have, you're surrounded so much by negative people, places, and things that if you would have even closely, remotely had a day like mine, people will not only back away from you because they'll start also tr treating you mean, knowing that you're going through things, but then they'll start feeling like they better back away from you. If they don't get away from you, the same exact thing going to happen to them too. 
but it's deep because in that hour that's how you truly know who your true friends are that's how you know who rolling with you that's how you know who to watch that's how you know who the spies are the agents under you and it's deep too because your guys they'll allow the agents to come under you they'll allow them to they'll allow they'll allow you to invite invite them in your home They'll allow you to sit amongst them, look at them, go eat with them, talk with them. And the whole damn time, you'll be knowing their agent. And it's deep, too, because before, we couldn't even tell who the Decepticons were because we weren't on the path. But now we're on the path. So because we're on the path, more than likely, y'all experiencing the same exact thing I'm experiencing. If you're a seven-life path, you're experiencing a whole lot of sevens. If you're a six-life path, you're experiencing a whole lot of six. If you're a three-life path, you're experiencing a whole lot of threes. If you're a two-life path, you're experiencing a whole lot of twos. And it's deep because that's how you know you're on your path. Because now you're meeting like-minded frequencies, like-minded energies, not familiar spirits. See, there's a difference in like-minded energies and like-minded frequencies versus familiar spirits because one's the trickster. And you got to be very alert to the rules. Ooh, that was a fox. Ooh, baby. He was kind of fast, too. That was a good one. He was quick. Huh. That was deep. There's a fox, huh? A straight up fox. He looked kind of strong, too. That was my first time seeing one up close, but I see what it is. I'm going to have to, you know, let's just say prepare my mindset for if my light codes that are locked deep within me ever need to break some bones. Because where I'm from, you can't sit around and book and start screaming, ah, somebody help me. Nah, you're going to have to get down. And hopefully, it's going to walk with me and we're going to be cool. And it ain't going to trip and it ain't going to jump on me because I don't eat meat. None of it ain't going to smell no blood in my system. None of that. But if you get to trip it, then it's going to be me and the damn fox. Because I ain't going out like that. Because as far as I'm concerned, my ancestors, that's how they got their name, Fox Trout, Fox Hunt. Wally Fox, Fox Nate. I'll be walking through the camp with a fox around my neck, but I'm not going to be running. So it's deep too that a fox just passed by. See, my ancestors knew to read nature. They knew to pay attention to the signs. It's deep too because I was just talking about agents and stuff and bots and stuff amongst you and then a fox passes by and see even in my native language we know ancestrally wise that when you see a fox that means that there's a snake in your camp and I don't care how nice they are how sweet they are how lovely they are it, it's usually the last person that you expect to. And that's what's deep about it, because usually when y'all find out who that fox or that snake is, it's going to trip you out. But at the same time, there's a gut feeling within you and you already know who it is, but you tend to discount those feelings. Stop discounting your feelings. And a lot of y'all can't even feel nothing because you have fried dyed to chemicalize your hair, which are your antennas. And then you got these nails on, which is blocking and clogging your systems and your organs. And you forget why it is the Chinese go to school and wear all these masks and stuff to protect themselves from it. And half of y'all so plastic surge it up. It's like you walking around like stuffed balloons. It's deep because y'all so busy trying to fix your outer look and what you look like on the outside from your outfits and how much them outfits cost. Or how, what size you are, how big you are, how fat you are, how little you are, how skinny you are, how dark you are, how light skin you are, how pretty you are, how ugly you are. But yet you have no sense of self. Where's your mental? What is in your mind? What is your spirit? Who does your spirit say that you are? What will fear you? If you find yourself in a cave facing nothing but spirits. is deep because. I have found that. We are in this world. Where so many people have been told to let go of the past. 
that they've held on to the past so much and then when you tell them about what it is that you pick up on them or you intuitively know or just advice maybe all of a sudden it will just immediately be an attack one thing i've learned that when a person have to defend something like that that's because they're triggered and usually that trigger comes along with healing that healing comes along with a blockage which means that that's something that needs to come up something they have not addressed something that they have not a heal for healed from and you triggered them you don't hit a soft soft spot right there so until that person heals from that you're going to be the blame of every single thing that triggers them from then on out you always going to be the blame for all they pain so until they first get that pain right or fix that pain then you're always going to be the corporate of the one who caused the pain so therefore because you're the closest one to them you're always going to have problems with them and it's deep too because you would hope that not be the case that could not be the case in many instances another instance that well let's say one instance that it would not be a problem is when a person is teachable when they're willing to learn that's way different Whoo, that's way different than having to fight somebody and kick and scream and argue with them just to try to prove to them a fact that you know i'm to the point to where i don't i don't argue i don't say nothing if if if, if, if somebody look at me and they be like oh you this and you that if I know I'm like that, I'll be like, yeah, okay, whatever. I mean, ain't no point for getting all stressed out about it. And, you know, now you can't sleep. And now you got to call all your friends and the whole world's about to end for what? Man, I'm at such peace right now. And it's deep too, because it really is true. God said that I will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon me. Man, I'm in perfect peace. I kid you not, I wasn't playing with y'all when I said I went to Lowe's and I straight up put my ear pods in my ear and start singing my song message from heaven and i start skip dancing and screaming loud and praising god right there in front of lowe's and i felt so free and i start going through the store just singing more and more and more and it was deep because it was in a like, real racist prejudice area and race that demon of racism likes to steer you down to try to control you to try to make you bow down to a player a player who's supposed to be greater than you right but that that be tickling me that spirit always tickles me because i have learned that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world and what was even deeper about it is that i know that i have already crossed over into the promise that god promised to give my forefathers so therefore that means that that birthright generational curse has been broken so whatever that energy used to apply to before it no longer applies to me so therefore i'm not subservient to it it is deep too because that energy knows it so when you walk in a room when i walk in a room i demand a specific respect because i am royal bloodline and i will have it no other way and trust me when i say it is immediately respected no ego with it no pride it's all professional but at the same time it's respect and it's integrity and it's honorable it's not from a place of making any type of scene at all but it's what's right is what's right it's logic either way it goes don't stress yourself unnecessarily for things that you cannot control there's a lot of people who have chosen their path a lot of people are continuing to choose their path. God said, and I'm going to continue to repeat this, that y'all have made altars to many gods. You've made altars to many gods. So when you made altars to many gods, it's deep because I was seeing a vision where those altars to all those many gods, were, whether it was your job, and you were always at the job more than you prayed or whether it was your child and you always spent more time with your child than you prayed or whether you were at the hair salon and you spent more time at the hair salon than you prayed whatever your whatever you spent more time with than you have 
with God. You made that your altar, God said. And you bowed down to other images. And it's deep because even though I've been telling people this message and I've been spreading this message, people don't get it. They will argue with me as if, oh, it's like they try to explain themselves like, oh, you don't know who I am. It's like, it's like they don't understand that they're, I'm, I'm just the messenger. I don't know these people's life. So I'm like, I'm just repeating what it is that I hear. And it's deep because God has shown me that man has become so vain and so egotistical in his sin that he, he picks his sin. He picks and choose what it is that he considers sin and the rest of it. He writes it off. Like, for example, he'll be like, okay, you know, I'll, 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 I'll smoke some pot, but, um, I won't commit adultery or, um, I'll, I'll commit murder, but, um, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll make sure that I won't kill or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? People are picking their sin. People are choosing to not evolve because they're in an inner fight with who they think that they have to define themselves to, to others as. And because of this, they have made others their gods, their demigods, their altars. So now that they have ran after other gods because they got tired of waiting on God Almighty, they did the same exact thing that our forefathers did. Like, oh, pff, Moses, you took too long, man. We already made us some idols and all kind of stuff. So now here it is. We're in a generation where people are repeating the same exact thing. And if you try to tell them about it, they will argue with you. But they don't even know that it's the power of God that's within me that is trying to warn them. And what God has been doing lately is God ain't given no more warnings. So what I have noticed is uh, people have become very afraid of death. But at the same time, just as much as they have become very afraid of death, they're also running straight into the arms of death. Just as much as they're trying to run away from death, they're running straight into the arms of death. And I'm like, don't you see it? But it's like so many people, it's too many people. And in, 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 you know, even when I try to warn, even when I try to say something, it's still, it, they don't hear me. It's like, it's like they're dead. It's like they're asleep. It's like, I know... I know a lot of y'all out there are having the same experience, but it's like they're numb. It's like they're not even there anymore. It's like they're just a shell, like they're just a walking corpse. It's like they're not even real. And it, it, and it, it, it trips me out because now I'm looking around and the people are disappearing. So between the people disappearing and me walking around in this zombie looking environment that I am portally protected in, I'm seeing it very clear and I see it so clear that there are those who are behind the scenes that know that I see it very clear. So what they have to do is they try to block my channels. They try to block my messages, block my frequencies, but we have stepped into an hour and a time where God is exalting me as God has always exalted me. So because God is exalting me, they can't stop my flow. They can't stop my shine. They can't stop anything that God wants to do in this hour. Because every single thing that I have spoken to y'all, every single thing that I have said to y'all, every warning that I have given, y'all go back, save all my tapes, the ones I ain't take down, go save them. Because y'all going to be listening and be like, dang, Nubian said this because y'all already know my pedigree. And it's not even me. It's the God that's in me. I'm just the messenger. I keep telling y'all, don't give me, don't worship me, don't follow me, don't praise me. This ain't how, this ain't got nothing to do with me. This ain't about no fame, baby. This ain't about no popularity contest, baby. No, I, I submit to the kingdom of heaven. This is all about my walk with God, period. Don't worship me. Don't follow me. I'm not your leader, okay? All I'm doing is bringing you a message. It is your job to do your own research. It is your job to have a relationship with, with God. It is your job 
to be as close to God as you can in this hour. Because what's about to hit next? Oh. Yeah. It's already gotten deep. And if you feel you scared now, psh, man, you better soldier up. You better soldier up. You better soldier up. Look, psh, we ain't got no choice. I mean, what we gonna do? I ain't gonna be one of them. I ain't gonna be the white girl in the movie that fall. <laughs> I ain't going out like that, y'all. Hey, that's a rhyme. I ain't gonna be the white girl in the movie that fall. I ain't going out like that, y'all. Dang. Hashtag newbie and divine. That's my shit. Don't even try to put it on a t-shirt either and take it because that's mine. Every single thing that comes out of my mouth is copyrighted and trademarked. Period. In that order. Okay? I asked you nicely. Don't do that because then I might have to take other measures. Okay? Thank you. But that was pretty good though. You can have other stuff but just not that one. Anyways, y'all. I wanted to um, just chime in for a second and see if any of y'all were noticing that the people have does. The people have does. And um, I don't know about y'all, but like I said, it don't matter what. I'm, I, 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 man, I'm, we over here flying airplanes, riding horses, crashing in the trees, getting our elbows scarred up a little bit but we some soldiers we get we got some knee pads on hey psh, if a finger get cut off we wrap it up in a band-aid but we don't get to say we don't get to stay all day in the hospital be like well i can't work today my finger was cut off no uh-uh you better wrap that up in a band-aid fix it up stop the bleeding and keep moving people had their toe cut off you better keep it moving i'm telling you look anything that is over 18 acres is considered farmland so your girl is technically a farm girl now and i'm telling you them farmers don't get to call a day off at all when they have to get their crops in order and shape before the freezing comes and i'm telling y'all the freezing has come the cold is getting ready to hit america there is getting ready to be a cold freeze in america y'all okay oh my god and I hate the cold. I don't even want to talk about this. Ah! <sighs> it's all good. Because forget that. <clears throat> it's all good. Because one thing I do know about the cold, though, is no matter how cold it is, shoot, y'all. Y'all know the routine. Go within your minds. Sit there. Meditate. And imagine yourself sitting in front of a warm, hot fireplace. Imagine yourself warm and nice with a blanket and you better kick that in. Go to instant visualization mode. Tap into your superpower. I'm trying to tell you now. You're going you to remember that one. So, no, nah, I ain't tripping like that. I was just playing. I was just really playing. Because we can't, you know, can't nobody be afraid right now. I can't be afraid. You can't be afraid. I don't want nobody on my team that's afraid. As a matter of fact, I really want... It Man, I only want true soldiers. What I learned about me, only true soldiers can roll with me. Only true soldiers can really face this front line with me. That's it. Mm -mm. Baby, we seen people get exposed. We seen people run. We see people get lied to. We see people get tricked. We see people get used. <laughs> we see people get jacked up trying to come after me. Man, we seen some shit. <laughs> But you know what's even powering about it is that the whole time, man, God has always covered me in his wing. I be sitting there watching the movie like, dang, 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 you getting jacked up too? Oh, no, not you too. And at this point, psh, man, I'm just, come along and ride on this fantastic voyage. Yeah, like that, because it truly is like that. But I'm going to tell you one thing, though. I ain't going to be the white girl in the movie that fall down on the ground and get jacked up. I'm not doing that. It's not going out like that at all. And I ain't going to be the black man in the movie that always get killed in the movie either. I ain't going to get eaten. I ain't going to get shot. I ain't going to get stabbed. I ain't going to get captured or taken. And I ain't going down none of that. How do I know? Because I already spoke it into existence. And because I know who I am and I know that thoughts become things and words have energy and power. I already spoke it. That's not happening. That's not going down. 
That's not going to happen at all. Unless God allows it. Now, if God allows it, ain't nothing I can do about it. What I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to go with the flow. But am I not going to be standing there going, No! No! That ain't right. No, I'm going to be a soldier. Because that's what soldiers do. So all y'all who's sitting there whining and complaining about your little bumps and your scrapes and all the little stuff that happened to your car and your house and your home and what your children doing and what your daddy doing and your mama doing and why the trash man knocked over the trash and what the lady at the grocery store did and why the mailman didn't bring your package day, just stop. Just stop. And breathe. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, breathe, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and breathe. Y'all got this. I love y'all. Now love yourself. Nubian Divine.